It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the Brew Review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back for another fun edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is another one from the Ren Fair. Swashbuckler Brewing Company. Yes, they're back this week. We got Captain Rude's Blackwater Stout, established in 2000. Live free, dine well, drink good ale. And this one is another weakling. It's 4.3%. Mm -hmm. But you get yourself, is it a 20? 22-ounce full bottle. Same as uh, the Swashbuckler But it, Gold. It's, it's a very big bottle. Mm -hmm. Cool artwork. So, yeah, a robust oatmeal stout with flavorful chocolate and coffee accents. Mm -hmm. Brewed with 10% flaked oats. This full-bodied beer finishes off with a smooth balance of flavor and aroma. Mm. And you got your government warning. And Oh, yeah, www.parenfair.com. To check out all their beers. They, every so, yeah, once, they're, they're solely based on the Ren Fair. Yeah, every once in a while, they do release a different type. I, I do like the pirate ship on there. Yes. This is my particular brew that I drink at the PA Ren Fair every year when I go. Awesome stuff, especially in draft. Um, again, it's surprisingly light when I first bought this. I didn't believe it. It's only 4.3. Considering it's a stout, you figured it might be a little higher alcohol content. But it's not. It's then plain, like I said, plain Jane cap. No big deal. But yeah, Swashbuckler Brewing Company. I think I just read that they're merging with uh, something else. I think they're merging two other breweries together to create something. I think it's called like Mount, Mount Hope Brewery, I think. Mount Hope. Yeah, that's not too far from here. Which is where they're from. It's but Mount... I, I thought they were from Mannheim. Yeah, the, well, the Ren... So, yeah, we'll, we'll put a link below to the, the one two weeks ago. Yeah, the Ren Fair is in Mount Hope, so. Which, Lancaster County. Yeah. Amish country. Yep. PA... Who knows, maybe the Amish have these in their buggies. <laughs> PA Turnpike, get off Lancaster exit, turn right, left, you're done. So... What do we do with these things again? I forget. As usual, as tradition, for the 219th time, we're going to do the cap test, the body and head test, the drink test, the draft test, not the puke test, not the hangover test, and all that good stuff. Yeah, so without further ado, let's crack open a, what is it, Captain Rude. Captain Rude, let's see. Does it make you rude? Rude, well. I guess it would if you drink enough. It's rude that the uh, the cap doesn't pull off, especially for all giving this. Give it here, you fat bitch. The idea wasn't to put this. So, yards to the rest of you. Da -da 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 -da. Yards! A PA brew to... Look at it smoking. A PA brew to save a PA brew. That popped very easily. Doesn't smell like a stout. Mmm. I do smell a hint of stout. Uh, I mean, it's not real strong, but it's there. Maybe because the bubbles are in the way. Yeah. Okay. Or, now, yeah. If now the bubbles, I'm the smelling. bubbles are dissipating. Now it's coming out. Now I'm smelling the stout. But what's unusual about this is that it's not real strong like other stouts yeah. are. So yeah, this is. So this is 22 fluid ounces. So this is a paint and six fluid ounces. So this might fall in the lines of like Java Head and Sweet Baby Jesus. So in the medieval times. Good-looking adventurer such as us would come to the bar and say, Give me a pint! And they'd throw us a pint of this Captain Rude's Blackwater Stout. And I go, Huzzah! And he goes, Drink! Ah! I know I say it every episode, but... you got to go to the Excalibur if you're in Vegas. You rule. This is honestly the first time I've ever tried this out of a bottle. 
So you, you had it in draft form. Yeah. Now, of course, it is two years old. That might really? Be, that might be another reason. Well, yeah, I bought this, like, two years ago. I mean, it's still good. All right, so... But it doesn't taste anything like it would in a draft. Let's go ahead and do it. Captain Rude's Blackwater Stout. Let's try it. Why is it firming up? Because you're... I don't know. Because you're guzzling it. No. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. There is like... It's almost like it teased me there. Yeah. I don't... Maybe it could be due to the age of it or whatever, but it does not taste like a stout to me. It's possible. Let's try and mix it up and see how it works there. So we're going to pour. It looks like it. It's very dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to try a little experiment here. We're just going to try and mix it a little bit. It's running down the bottle. And then we're going to pour a little more. Maybe it just needed mixed. Maybe like the alcohol. Yeah, this maybe has to be one of those that has to be drafted. Maybe like the alcohol and everything else kind of separated from its time. A little more head there than I would like, but that's okay. But as you see, dark in color. Oh, very dark. Quite well. As you see through the light. Yeah, let's get a close up of it, shall we? Let it settle a little bit. All right, so we got about an inch ahead. And, yes, it, it is almost 30 weight. <laughs> it's damn near what Java Head looked like. Right, get this out of the way so we don't have a blooper. That would suck. Well, it would be funny to you guys. Yeah. So, let's see if it's any different in the glass. <laughs> that was a weird face. No different. I All think right. it's I think it's a bad batch. <clears throat> Alright, draft test! Draft it! I think it skunked on us. Ugh, yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. <clears throat> this is a bad batch. We let it it sit. smelled better than it tasted. We set we let it sit for too long. So, I mean, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm not gonna rate it a zero. I yeah, honestly, but I, I can't finish it. Yeah, I, neither can I. I. It separated way too long. So, the other one I think kept well. Mm-hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be the first ever brew review that. Um, well, I'm not even gonna rate this. I can't. Because yeah, I can't rate it until we do it again. Because I know it tastes ten times better than what this does. So, this year, I'm making a solemn oath. It is, what, March, as we film this? March 3rd. March 3rd, as we film this. The Ren Fair comes back in August. I will pick up another one of these. And we will do this again. I promise you this. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, just for the simple fact that it's set that long, we're just... I'm not even going to rate it. I'm, I'm, the rating's going to be skunk. Yeah, skunked. First time ever this has happened. Yeah, we, we've had a lot of beer sit for a long time and never had this happen. Yeah, so again, we're not blaming swashbucklers. We're not saying it's a bad batch. Today. But I will say, like, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale is definitely proof of it. Because when we drank it down in Lexington, fucking good. Yeah. And then I had a bottle of it that was saved, and I maybe drank it like three or four months later, and it it was okay, but it wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. So so now I'm it's wondering... Kinda, I would say it's kind of our fault. So now I'm wondering if the other two are going to be like this, too. I don't even know if we should even bother with it. Because it wouldn't be an accurate rating. True. So, we we will come back to... I'll tell you that... We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll, we'll consider it. We'll, we will come back... I mean, we, we had a pretty... We had a decent review with the other one. Yeah, but we will come back to this one. I promise you that. Because, again, this is my beer that I drink at the Ren Fair, And it's amazingly good. Way better than uh, what it is now. So. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of the Brew Review. For the first time in history, we have one that's skanked out, so. Skank! So we can't even review it. So, I hope you enjoyed this failed review fail! of, <laughs> of Captain Rude's Blackwater Stout. You failed! So, yeah, we'll see you next week, and peace out, brothers.